recently received an historic honor. Paramedic Tony Cece wasn't born in the Rocket City, but he's a Huntsville man through and through. My family moved to Huntsville when I was two years old. So I basically just grew up at Huntsville. I have no memory of, of anywhere else. Okay. Um, and of course, you know, like most families that moved to Huntsville, my father was uh, employed on the arsenal. CC started working with Huntsville's ambulance service in 1990 and started working at Marshall Space Flight Center in 2007. A year later, he took a lead role in upgrading Marshall's automated external defibrillator system, AED for short. Actually, when I came here, there was a smaller AED type program. Connect electrodes. It had no central point of control. That work would pave the way for him to receive the prestigious Silver Snoopy Award. The pin is given to fewer than 1% of NASA employees and contractors. It's awarded to those who make significant contributions to flight safety or mission success. Out of the nearly 4,900 pins awarded at Marshall, CC is the first paramedic to receive the award. I didn't even know that contractors were, were eligible to win. So, you know, the thought of ever, you know, actually getting one was never really there. So. And then here you yeah. are sitting with one on your desk. Yeah. One of the reasons CC received the award is because of his role in establishing the AED program here at Marshall. Now, thanks to him, one of these boxes is only three minutes away inside any one of these buildings in case of an emergency. The pin is always awarded by an astronaut. CC received his from former New Mexico Senator and Apollo 17 astronaut Harrison Schmidt, along with retired Colonel Rex Walheim, who flew on STS-110, 122, and 135. So they were both um, basically closing those two projects uh, of their time. That was kind of neat to, to meet both of them. Occupational Health Officer David Daxton nominated CC for the award. We've had great paramedics and staff in years past. Uh, but Tony has really stepped up to the plate and uh, instituted our AED program and built it from the ground up and we thought that was worthy of recognition. It's good. It's, it's nice to, to be recognized. Whenever we can give people the tools to keep bad things from happening, it's, it's a good thing. The Silver Snoopy recipient is now working to update to the latest AED equipment and find more ways to improve safety at Marshall. Reporting at Marshall Space Flight Center, Will Robinson-Smith, Way 31 News.